Hello everyone. The concise video tutorial has been put together to help you quickly familiarize yourself with the many features and tools available on the next generation platform. You can learn how to find the products to trade and market news, how to access chart. You can put different types of orders and you can monitor your positions, right? We'll start with the products library first. To get started, you have to go through the entire navigation toolbar, which is this. To brief you, there is a search option to quickly, quickly search what you want to. Any product, there's a built-in search tool. You have to click on it and write the name of the product and you can search it. For example, I click on search, I write Facebook. I click on Facebook shares. And I can see a historic chart plus buying and selling prices. Really easy. Next is your products library. Click on a product products library. Select exactly the window like this up here. We'll get into detail how to use the product library. Next is your watch list. Your watch list is your favorite list. There are a lot of products which you want to see on daily basis. You cannot always search, so you create a watch list for yourself. You can use account option to keep a check on your trades which you have placed, any pending orders if you have, to keep a check on your price alerts, see all the executed trades, and then see a combined history of past few days, past few weeks, and past few months. Any payments done, any withdrawals done, the charges, the trades, trades modified, everything is reflected in history. And then there's a statement center, which you can use to generate statement, your weekly statements, your monthly sta statements, your yearly statements. And then there's a funding option, which you can use to withdraw your funds, which is also called payments. Next, be updated with the markets. You have your news and analysis option, which involves Reuters news and market calendar. To important research tools which help you identify any new market opportunities and also keeps you informed about what's happening around the world. There is another set of tools which is pattern recognition, an advanced form of technical analysis which is uh, already created for the clients. We will get into uh, pattern recognition in much more detail. And then you can use your settings, your order settings and your account settings as per your requirement. If you go on the right side, you can see the account value, which shows you the current value of all your investments. On the left, the total margin, the money which is held against all the trades. The available cash, which shows you the amount which is available to take any further new trades. On the right side, the cash balance, it shows you the amount of available cash you have in your account. However, the profit below it shows you the aggregate profit or loss across all open positions. You can securely log out from your platform using this option. Now to begin with product library, this is your layout. If you want to maximize any of this, just have to click on the maximize option and I have maximized my product library. You can also, you can go to product library by clicking here. And the moment you click on library, you will see this window opening. The advantage of product library over the search option is, in search option, you can quickly search what you want to. In product library, it gives you a much more detailed asset class wise segmentation of all the financial instruments which means if you're looking at commodities you click on commodities you can filter them by forward products or cash products you can select what kind of commodity you want to see for example agriculture commodity shows all the agriculture commodities cocoa coffee corn lumber oats orange juice and you can scroll down further and you can see a lot of uh, commodities, agri agriculture based. If you click back on subtype and select energy, you will see all the energy based commodities. 
provide. Here, when you select on precious metals, you'll be able to see all the commodities, the metals which are related to precious metals. Now, gold, silver, platinum, palladium, these are precious metal commodities. The most advantageous product library which we see shares. When you go to shares, let's say for example, US shares, you can always select the sector you want to keep a check on. For example, you select healthcare. As you can see, the product library shows you all the healthcare shares, their today's low, high, the today's percentage change. Also, if you go down and select change in volatility, you can select the change which you want to measure. The performance of one day, the performance of one week, the performance change in one month, the performance change in three months, and six months and one year. I have selected one year. You can select up to you six months, for example, and you can see the change in six months, the change in one year. It also shows you the volatility in six months and the volatility in one year. So what we have understood is product library is a much more uh, refined option to search your product. You can use active filters and you can select different different sectors of different different countries in a really fast and a quick way. Next, we move on to the watch list. Now, when you click on watch list, you can already see that by default, there have been products which have already been added into different kinds of watch list. So there are at least five watch lists which are by default prepared for you. You can select among those or you can create your own new watch list. For example, popular products, major US shares, major UK shares, major German shares, major foreign currency pairs. If you want to select any of these watch lists, you just have to click and you will see the popular product watch list contains all the popular products along with their lows, highs, the open, close, and the percentage change. You can also create your own watch list and the watch list will contain your favorite products for easy access. And then you can view a personalized news feed. So if you see these popular products, there are different options here. First, we'll create a new watch list. This is the option to create a new watch list. Click. And here you can see a watch list window being open. You can select the menu option and give it a name. So for example, I will add demo. Next generation. Select. If you can see, there is an add product option next to the name. All you have to do is select and just add. So I'm going to create my own watch list. You can create your own. For instance, we added, we're adding gold. We'll add crude oil, the future contract. We'll add Apple shares, add Euro USD, a foreign currency. Also add an agriculture commodity, wheat. and a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin.
Now, once the watch list is added, I have already added in my layout a watch list which is popular products, but you have made your own. All you have to do is close this, you can close this. There's already an add option in the layout. Click on add, select watch list. Demo next generation is the one which you prepared. Select and you just created your own watch list. If you scroll right, so you can always maximize this. Once you maximize your watch list, you'll be able to see the options. You can see the lowest, the highest, the open, close of the day, the highest of the day, the lowest of the day, the percentage change for today, in percentage and in points. You can keep adding more and more products to your watch list. It depends upon uh, what kind of uh, products you trade in. This will be your favorite list which you do not have to search again and again anytime you log in it will be in the front one important feature you can select the reuter news option for your watch list and then you can get an easy filtered news which is related to these products this helps you eliminate a lot of noise coming from other products I think uh, this can easily help you out to read the news only, which is related to your specific products. So we have learned how to create a watch list. Now, once you have created a watch list, you need to know how to open an order ticket. Before that, we need to drop down menu navigation. Select an instrument, let's say Apple. Select here and you'll be able to see a lot of options in Apple. First is order ticket. You can click on order ticket, which will open a new order ticket for this product. You can access the same order ticket through your watch list just by clicking on either buying or a selling price. The order settings, when you click on order settings, it allows you to amend order settings for Apple. These settings are done by default, but you can always go and change as per your requirement. Next comes the product information, which is the chart. It opens a new chart for Apple. You can always amend the chart as per your requirement. As you can see, there are different intervals which you can fix from one second to one month, along with the price history, which can be from today, one day till five years and maximum. You can select the quote panel. If you open a quote panel with buy and sell prices, it also shows you the daily low and the daily high plus the real time spread. Please note this that the screen price is not necessarily the price your trade will be executed at because the market is moving really fast when you are punching the order. One of the most important features of the drop down menu is product overview. So you can view the product information uh, such as trading hours, which is here, the holding rate the margin rate and the real time spread. You can also view the client sentiment for the given product, except the view terms of use. And you can see a client sentiment window opening in your layout. You can view the client sentiment for the product, which is related to both the client count and the position value. So this is the number of clients and this is the position value. This is updated every minute. The client sentiment feature is indicative. It has inherent limitations and may be out of date at any given time.
you can open a Reuters news feed containing only news that is relevant to your product. So when you select on Reuters news, you can see all the news which is related to Apple as a stock. As you can see, when I click on the live market news, it tells everything which involves tech, Apple stocks. Next is the Morningstar research. You can access the Morningstar equity research to view current cash fundamentals and Morningstar's proprietary fair value estimate, which is the Morningstar analyst estimate of the potential value of the share. By clicking on Morningstar research, you can view the Morningstar research report. You can set and manage price alerts. You can view the real time price difference between your alerts and the current market price. So for example, if you click on create new price alert, you can set a price for Apple share, let's say 220, press enter, and you can select whether you need the buy price to be 220, sell price or the mid price. Let's select buy. You can select an expiry date of the alert. For example, if the price does not come to 220 till 28th of May, this alert will expire or you can just keep it open-ended. You can add your notes related to the alert, which will tell you what did you expect at that point of time. Let's say you expected to buy once the price reaches, press enter and there are notes. It will show you how far you are from your alert in terms of how the price, how far the price is from the alert price, which is 21% down. You can easily delete the price alert as per your need. You can also add this product to any watch list of your choice. If you want to remove the watch list, if, if you want to remove the product from the watch list, you can just create you can add remove from watch list and it will be removed from your watch list. We hope you have enjoyed this introductory video to our standard platform. For more information, view our other videos on different platform features or refer to our platform quick guides available.